from Tunisia, Aya Shebi. Distinguished guests, marhaba, as we say in Arabic. I come from a region that is considered today the most dangerous in the world, the Middle East and North Africa. Yet, in Tunisia, we have successfully achieved milestones towards democracy and stability. We revolted for freedom and dignity. We were the spark of an uprising, the word propagated as the Arab Spring. Have you heard about it? No, 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 it's not the Arab Spring. We call it the revolution of dignity. Young women, like myself, have took to the streets and afraid to die for freedom. We have taken to the streets and afraid to die for freedom, but when I reflect to the past four years, I recognize the boldness of my generation, which shaped its own destiny and that of future generations. Thank you. But who was behind our victory? It was the Tunisian people, including Tunisian women, who chose to be part of the history. A history that steered towards depriving women equal opportunities. A history that steers towards marginalizing the youth. We gotta change that. We decided to rewrite this history and make it right for the next generations. But wait, there are still many, many challenges to overcome. In Egypt, virginity tests has been performed on female protester detainees. A terrorizing and humiliating practice. In Syria, over 15,000 women have been killed by the Syrian regime. Over 8,000 have been subjected to sexual violence. But this is not our first struggle, and it's not our first victory. Women where I come from have been fighting against patriarchy for more than a century. Fighting for social change, for democracy, for equality, for decades and decades. So the world must respect our right to define our own struggles in our own context. A context that is affected by post-colonialism, by Orientalism, and by Islamophobia. <laughs> Through the efforts and sacrifices of young women, our mark upon dignity and equality shall not go unrecognized. Our experiences shall not go unnoticed. Article 46 of Tunisia's constitution stands as an embodiment of the gains we have attained as women through civil action. We have conquered repressive laws and we set our country upon equality and dignity. Our generations of feminist movements today from Africa and the Middle East and conflict zones and all parts of the world going through hard times we shall continue to be on the front line. Although we have been set backwards, although many of our counterparts are, have been falling, we have to continue to set our countries on a constitutional path of maturation and our societies on awareness about gender equality. So let's keep the fight. Shukran, thank you.